surprise everybody hello <laughs> jeff you Brent. you and i just got a big surprise we did we, yes this is phenomenal uh and and it was so phenomenal that you and i were like we texted like did you see this what is this have you watched yet i have not watched this yet have you watched this yet no you literally told me it happened i yeah. saw what it was and then you're like let's go on live and i'm like hold yeah. on let me get off this i'm yeah. still at work yeah jeff so, is still working. look at the collared shirt this right. is not what Je jeff is on headphoned uh speaker yeah, microphones is, and yeah. whatnot yeah, this is not, um yeah. so anyway uh but we got an email we got an email today and it's one of those like as soon as you read it you know exactly what it was and then you get like ridiculously excited for it um and uh, uh here's the email uh from kathleen this is from our friend kathleen of the show it says uh, uh, it's a cameo. If you'll, if you'll look, it's a cameo video by Peter Jurisic. Uh, and, and here's this little message from, from, uh, from Peter, uh, to us. But, um, I, I mean, Jeff, this is, this was just phenomenal. Now I know what a cameo video is. Yeah. You know, that's when somebody, you know, gets, gets a, a celebrity to record a message for you. Yeah. So somebody, Kathleen, apparently got Peter Trisic to send a message to us. So thoughtful. So incredible. This, this is, is amazing. So, great. so cool. So first of all, Kathleen, thank you. Thank you. We have not watched it yet. We're going to do the Brent and Jeff thing, but we're going to do this one together, pal. We're going to watch this one and, and, uh, either blubber or laugh or whatever, whatever is going to come here over the next, uh, usually these are just a couple minutes long. So, uh, you want to jump into it, Jeff? Let's do it. I want to watch okay. this. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, there he is. All right. Ah, oh, Brent. Oh, he said Brent, my <laughs> good and dear friend. A surprise for you today, my fine fellow. Ambassador Londo Molare here from Babylon 5. Yes. Do the voice. Now, He's Brent, the my good man, as you can plainly see, I am not on Babylon 5 at present. No, nor am I on my, my homeworld of Centare Prime. Oh, Great maker, how I wish I could be there. No, in fact, Veer. Do you remember my attache, Veer yeah. Koto? Oh, yeah. Yes, Veer and some of his acquaintances have decided for some reason that I need to be on a vacation. I need a Veer. And so That's after doing cool. extensive that. travel research, as only Veer can do, ex Intensive travel research. They have planted me, Brent, here on your planet Earth. He's in a verbo. Yes. <laughs> and here I sit in the good old U.S. of A. in um, in Hurricane Alley, no less, a oh, place like where the weather is alt alternately um, so hot you think you are going to die <laughs> from the heat, and to uh, to the next day pouring rain. Where the, the, the floodwaters come up just he's up he's in Florida. Your, almost, but they're not quite. Anyway, they have me here, and here I sit in a lounge chair overlooking a pool. Oh, that's nice. Where now, Brent, get this. You should that's like fancy. this. I had no idea this was an Earth tradition. Here they are serving me here at this pool. Um, <laughs> what is it? Large tropical fruit drinks. Yeah. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Yeah, they baby. take my drinks, and in them they take large chunks of, um, I don't know, exotic, uh, uh, strange fruits from their world, uh, pineapples, kiwis, guacamoles. They what? take them and they stick them in my drink. And then they take tiny little paper umbrellas, little colorful things, put them all over the fruit, and then give me a little straw for, I'll tell you, Brent, I would take my life in my hands, bringing this thing anywhere near my face, no less drinking from it. And this of course, amazing. remember, this I'm a centare, cool. so uh, I am not so old nor so naive to uh, not wonder about what else they might be putting in my drinks, yes? Seriously. Yes. Poison house and target. In any event, yeah. Brent, here I sit, as you earthers like to say, letting my hair down. Yeah. Letting my <laughs> hair nope, down no sounds thing. like a, uh, uh, something a nun would say to Sensare as a joke. Yes, letting my hair down. I get it. Very funny. In any <laughs> like event, how many Brent, come here. Does it, oh, he's Brent, 
It's in the light bulb. I would be having a great time here and really Shut enjoying up, myself. The drinks are not so bad, really. Uh, the food is pretty bad. I must say the food is not good. They, they have no idea how to... Don't let anyone tell you they know how to make a spoo here in Hurricane Alley. They have no idea how to make a good spoo. Or a hot chala. You cannot get one. In any event, uh, I'm drinking well, but uh, I'm, lose, I'm not eating well, so I'm losing some pounds here. But God knows I could afford to lose some pounds in my older days, yes? Keep that yes. spoo to yourself. Well, in any event, I would be having a good time, except in the last week, Brent. Brent, get this. Um, I have been pestered, that's the word, pestered by constant communications from these people. I don't know what to call them. They're, uh, they're, um, they're, they're, they're business associates of yours, I think. I don't know what to say. Uh, yes, and while trying to be on vacation, they continue to pester me. <laughs> Brent, Brent, I am kidding you, of course. I am, I as you say, say putting you on. Day. They are not so business good. associates of yours, no. And they have not been pestering me, not even one little bit. They are, in fact, your fans. They love you, the That's people who love you, your fans, your fans of your podcast. Uh, it's called uh, Fans of Babylon 5 for the first time. You know these people, yes? Yeah, well, they do. adore you. Yes, and they have they have contacted me, and uh, they have told me. I mean, they're uh, what's the expression? Over the moon about you, you and your partner Jeff. No! They love the work you are doing, and they love your podcast. They say, you know, you are devoted. I don't know about devotion. I mean, it sounds like something the Mambare would say. We pray for you, and you pray for us, and you're a you're a warrior cast together, and we're centari. Forget about devotion. Anyway, they say you're devoted, that uh, you uh, you work hard, that you give of your time and uh, your opinions about Papillon 5. And, and what have they contacted me about? After all that, these people say they love you, but this is a perfect thing for an Earth uh, to do. To me. Because what they have asked me to do is what they call a roast. You know this uh, expression? Oh, no. A roast? No. To me, I, I've had Veer uh, uh, do some oh, research on it. It tells me what they want to do is uh, take you and put you on a large metal um, spear <laughs> with, and, and put you over a hot burning fire and slowly turn you for, I don't know, eight, ten hours or so. That's a very sorry thing are to do. Cooked just right. Why they want to do that, I can tell you. But I want you to know. Uh, I, uh, if I, I respect them and admire them that they love this uh, fans of Babylon 5 so much, despite being Star Trek people. I understand that. And I understand you and Jeff are Star Trekkers, too. Yes. Yeah? Despite up. that, you are looking at Babylon 5. And so I have to do as they say and roast you. So <laughs> what can I tell you? Okay. All I can tell you is um, the show was actually what? Uh, 25 years ago, something. So you, you, you two aren't exactly uh, up to speed. As you know. <laughs> You're a little behind the ball here, okay? It's all right. I mean, I don't know what took you so long to get to Babylon 5, but in any event, now you are here. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I am not going to do, uh, as they say, any spoilers and tell you, but I understand oh, that one you. of the things I listen awesome. to you, a summation of season uh, two. And uh, I know one episode. of the things you and Brent, you uh, you and Jeff like to do, Brent, is uh, your predictions. Yes? Oh my God. Your prediction for season two. We listened to them. That wasn't very close. That's all I could say. <laughs> and I've heard your predictions for season three. And what can I tell you? You have no idea what's going to happen. You're trying it's to incredible. get inside the mind of JMS. It is a, is, it is a, a dark, uh, deep, uh, forget it. You, you, you take two steps in and you're completely lost. Don't try to figure out what's going on. You're going to be super surprised when uh, Lando Molare and Jakar uh, fall deeply in a romantic love, uh, maybe driven somewhat by uh, sexual needs for both of them. And, uh, and they, they marry wow. and, and have actual children. 
Yes, you didn't know that. Yeah, it's going to happen in season four. I don't want to ruin it for you. Yeah, so much. You'll be surprised. You'll love it. Or uh, Lanier and Via, for instance. Um, I think they. Uh, what do they do? They 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 go into business together. I know that, and I think they open a dry cleaning store oh. that eventually becomes a chain of dry cleaning stores, and they make a ton of money. They call it the uh, the Delen and uh, Sinclair and uh, Sheridan thing. I don't know what to tell you about that. It's not my taste. Uh, I've had many wives, of course, but they get into this threesome thing, and uh, it's pretty shocking. Anyway, I don't want to ruin anything for you, but I want you to know your predictions are way off. Forget it. Forget <laughs> it. Just keep enjoying yourself. And uh, by the way, you know about my wives yet. Uh, I don't know whether you are, uh, you are married or to any of these fans, or but I had three wives. They were... Um, I told via famine, <laughs> pestilence, <laughs> and death. <laughs> and as I said to via, do you think I married them for their personalities? No. Their personalities could shatter entire planets. No, the secret to our marriages is that we stayed 75 light years apart. There you go. I'm not telling you that I should stay 75 light years apart from you or you from your fans. You do whatever you like. That's up to you. But uh, all I can say is uh, you're on a good track now with this Babylon 5 stuff. I'm glad you've gotten off the Star Trek road for a little bit anyway. I think you've been overdoing it anyway, haven't you? How many years have you been Star Trek fans? It's great to have you on as Babylon 5 people. In any event, let me say for all the fans who sent you this, uh, to you, Brent, and you, Jeff, from Ambassador Lando Morare and the entire Centauri Republic, I give you a great vow to, a, a big Centauri salutation for the wonderful work you both do on your uh, podcast, Fans of Babylon Time 5, for the first time. What a great thing. Couldn't be better. And Peter Jurisic, thanks you for doing the show. And it's his own um, Nice, Thank nice you shit. both for uh, taking the time to check out uh, our little uh, little nuggets. I have one little thing to tell you, uh, since you're Star Trek fans. My wife is a uh, my wife in real life, not the not famine, pestilence, or death. This is my you my can't real even say wife. It without right, he's in the accent. Yes, my wife, Peter. I'm slipping back into the uh, the old <laughs> Republican, as I call him. Anyway, Barbara was. Uh, brought into her makeup business that she was a professional makeup artist by Fred Phillips, who, as you know, designed and made those first beautiful Spock ears. So I have some connection. That My dear work. wife uh, was a, a partner to uh, Fred Phillips in, in a sense, and he was the inventor. I believe that's what she said anyway. That's I thought I would said. give you that little tr trivia tidbit. And uh, all, I, all I can say is thank you for watching Babylon 5. Thank you for doing this wonderful show. Uh, I wish you both great success. And uh, as, uh, as, as I said, I call the uh, sentimental Republican who lives upstairs at my house, Lando Molare, would say, you moon-faced assassins of joy. Yes. Live it up. Have a good time while you're watching the show. Laugh. Tell stories. Uh, speculate all you like. Uh, sing, dance, get yourself a good bottle of Brivare. Pop it open and uh, share it and uh, laugh it up a little bit. Sing and dance. That's what the Centauri would like you to do. When was the last time you did some singing? I think you should watch an episode and do a little sing and dance. <laughs> Don't worry about all the war stuff. That goes on all the time and continues to go on and is not going to stop. All right? So, as I said, uh, I want you to feel great about it. As, uh, as Molare would say, uh, I want you to feel like you're being uh, nibbled to death by... Um, oh, jeez. Sorry. Uh, what are those earth creatures called? Birds, the covered, feathers, do it. Cats. webbed feet go quack. Cats. I, I want you to feel like you're being nibbled to death by cats, okay? <laughs> Live it up and have a great time when you watch Babylon 5. Best to you all. Okay, from uh, Peter Jurisic and from Lando Molare. Take care, my friends. Hope you enjoy this video. Oh, my uh, God. Brent, I... 
That is phenomenal. I, I mean, I'm moved to tears that like, this is so incredible that you would do this for us. I can't believe it. This yeah. is amazing. So, it, I mean, I, I, so it came from Kathleen as an email, but they, they've, they've said in the, in the chat over here and, and, and even Peter said it in the video, this is from all the fans. Yeah. And so I don't know where you guys came together. I don't know how you guys did this. I don't, I don't know who, who did what, but to every single one of you, Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. That was, oh my God. That is the best thing I have seen. I have not laughed like that in I don't know how long. That was freaking amazing. That was so, that was wow. And Peter, if you're ever watching this, Lando, Lando Malari, I know the reboot is coming and I want to be you. <laughs> I want my own Lando living upstairs. <laughs> anyway uh but no seriously god peter that was phenomenal that was so good oh my gosh that was amazing that was um, so good. i just i'm still i'm just floored by the generosity of all of you yeah. here with us that, that didn't have a chance to pop on i might watch it later uh you know brett, brett and i are just two old dudes watching this great show and having a good time and whew, and we wow, get called it, out by peter for being 25 years too late and he's right i know and seriously did you not tell him no spoilers? Now we know everything that's going to happen. <laughs> Little Centauri are going to hook up with some sexual needs. Like, I mean, I can't think, blame I mean, him. This is just, just amazing. Look, over a hundred of you guys are watching us watch this right now. So cool. For the first time. So thank you guys. Listen, you're amazing. That was amazing. Uh, I mean, it's, it's so humbling. Yeah. You know, I mean, Jeff and I, we just, we sort of sit on this side of the, of the screen and we see comments and stuff, but to get something back from you guys like that. That's just guys. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for joining us on this journey. We're not even halfway through. And, and even when we get halfway through, we're still not gonna be halfway through because there's so much more to come after we finish the show proper. And, and guys, listen, you keep joining us. You keep watching Jeff and I are, will keep giving you the, the content, the best way that we can make it for you guys. So uh, thank Absolutely. you guys so much. We're going to get out of here. Uh, but, oh my, I mean, I, I don't know how to say thank you any more than we already have. So you guys are amazing and uh, we'll catch you guys. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh. I guess I got a Brent watches video. I got to get out for you guys here soon. And, <laughs> and uh, we, Jeff and I'll have to get together to record the episode for this weekend. And, and I'll, like, we got all that stuff to do, but uh, you guys are amazing. And uh, thanks for everybody for joining us in this. You guys rock. Yeah, thanks for being here. And again, I mean, wow, thank you. Th Phenomenal. Thank you. Phenomenal stuff. Bye, guys.